Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another Obby Creator video. My name is Rose Studios, and today I'm joined by my sister once again. Hello. Today we're going to be building floor 8 of Citadel of Eternal Corruption, which is the Citadel for Ring 2 of my JTOH ring in Obby Creator. In this floor, there's going to be some big developments in the storyline. I guess you could call it that, I don't know. So before we start, the Obby ID is right here if you want to come play this, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing. I'd love to hit 2,000 subscribers soon. Anyway, let's begin with the floor. Okay, so the previous three floors was this long button speedrun. I still need to add the Citadel of Eternal Corruption statue here. That's the Citadel for Ring 1. So the previous floor ends here, where you go up these quarter studs, and then you're going to jump into the next floor. Now, I don't want you to be able to jump back down to here. The lava will kind of stop you, but it won't necessarily be right here yet, because there's, there's like rising lava on the next floor. Now, I just tried to make it so the button activates a moving platform that will close here, but then you can accidentally hit the button again and open it back up again, so that didn't make any sense. So I guess we'll just have to do a button that activates a part that will be right here, but I think we can make it look a little bit more interesting. And so it's like kind of rotated here, I think though, and also universal, I think that would look cooler. And now let's place the button here, and this should be make objects visible infinite time and activate this object. There we go. All right, perfect. Now it will kind of be out here there's not really anything I can do about that if I want it to be rotated. I mean, maybe there is, but I think it's fine. So now we need to change some effects. The effects at the time you will get up here are these, which I want to change. Now the comment we're gonna be taking inspiration from in this video is right here. Floors eight through nine could be a black plastic frame with black plastic platforms with a white outline effect. It makes the floor look like a void, maybe even a boss battle on the floor. I don't think I'll do the boss battle. I think that's the atmosphere I'm going for on this tower. I mean, on this floor. So let's see, if I change the fog color to black and the fog end to 50, yeah, I like that. If I change the lighting effect um, right here to contrast, then it's like almost impossible to see anything. But let me see what this looks like with the uh, outline. Yeah, this is fine. All right, so let's get to building the parkour. For actually building this, I'm gonna not use any of the effects so I can actually see what I'm doing. So this floor is gonna have a lot of things that explain what's going on in the story. So, here's what these signs that we just made say. So the player says, I don't know if you're thinking the same thing I am, but what on earth just happened? And then Shark says, I have no idea. I don't think the Citadel was supposed to glitch like that. What it's referencing here is, of course, the previous floor where, I guess I, have for, I, guess I haven't mentioned it yet, but like as you climb up, of course, the lava is flooding. And there's like these checkered pink and black texture things that appear here. You can kind of see it right here. So it's and lava also is like spilling out of the walls and stuff. So now let's build some parkour here. So let's start with this and then let's do a wrap around. Oh, uh, I just hit 1,000 parts. Not that that is important to mention, I guess. Uh, but that kind of reminds me somehow that this is my 50th Obby Creator video. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's do something like this and then this. And then we'll put a wrap around here. Uh, yeah, so like this isn't all that's going to be on this floor, by the way. Like, it's gonna be, you read some things. I mean, I guess you don't have to read them, but you know, you know what I mean. Then you complete some parkour, and then you'll read some more things. Let's make it so you do that now, but I feel like I should make that a little bit easier. There we go. So after this, you'll jump to here. Uh, okay, you could make that jump, just I didn't. Then how about the color of the outline tells you what the part actually is. But other than that, it'll look exactly the same. So a kill brick will have a red outline. I don't know if we're gonna make it like say anything about this, about what the colors mean. You'll kind of figure it out maybe. So let's do something like this. I'm not taking damage because I have invincible while editing on, but you get the idea. And I kind of want to make like half the floor here be kill bricks, just cause why not? Then let's do some ladder flicks and wall hops. So how about we put a truss here like this. So you'll jump on this and then a wall hop. I think what we can do is like you can see where the like seam is, which is where you can wall hop on if we just do that. So let's do that and then a tight rope here. Let's just make it be a white neon platform. Uh, we'll make it like 0.1. Actually, you know what? I'll make it 0.2 because I'm nice. Then let's do a conveyor launch. Let's place it like down here and make it like this wide. Now let's make the outline on these, uh, let's make them like this color. Let's make this go like 45 and then you'll jump to like right there. So you'll do that and then this is where the next thing is for the storyline is going to be. So let's type that. So when you jump on this conveyor, 
you'll get sent over here. So then question mark, question mark, question mark says, I see you are just as skilled as you were the last time. This'll be fun. Shark says, lol, what? And then the player says, last time. What's that supposed to mean? So now let's build the next part of the parkour here. Okay, I want to try something here that I think will be cool if we can get it to work. If I put a jump pad with like max jump power, which is 200. Okay, it does that. So that will work. And if I make it a 45 degree angle, does it launch me? Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's make it launch you on top of here. I'll try to make it like not be RNG. Actually, I really should just move it like over here. Let's put a half stud here that you'll jump on. Actually, let's make it like that rather than what I had it as before. You'll get launched over to here. So let's give this a try again. Okay, great. The appearance of the jump pads are just gonna be um, blue, blue outline. There we go. Now I'll make this look a little bit better so it has the outline as well in a minute. I can't really do it the same way here. Like, I'm gonna have to use invisible parts with the outline, otherwise, like, it'll just do the outline like it is when you hover over it here, which is just like a cube. It does that for, like, all of the parts. So now let's do some more wall hops. Let's put it, like, inside the wall like this. So you'll do something like this. Uh, I guess we can make it go all the way to the other side of the floor. Let's do that. Let's also make this a little bit easier to wall hop on. And we'll also put, um, like a break right here if you need to stop. All right, great. Uh, just pretend I made it to the end there. Right here, I think we should put a button. So it's gonna activate some platforms over here, like, cause we've kind of used up a bunch of the space here. So we kind of need to use buttons if we want to make more stuff, if we want to do more stuff here, I guess, if that makes sense. I think we'll make it so it activates a thingy over here. The fog end's gonna make it hard to notice that. So we'll make the button also activate arrows. That'll direct you over here. So over here, you're gonna jump up some one studs. Then let's put a truss like inside the wall here. You'll jump to it like this. Then let's do an elevator. The best way I've found to do these is um, let's make a can collide false part. That's what, and that's what is appeared to be an elevator. That was incorrect grammar, but you know what I mean. Actually, I think let's make it this color and then just transparent, like a lot, like 0.9 transparency. Now that's not gonna do anything because we're gonna use jump pads to do that. Um, invisible jump pads to be exact. So let's do that make it like 50. I think when it's 50, it's that's just the nor the default height your character jumps when you press space. So if we do that, then if you stand in here, then it does that, okay? From here, I think you should jump to this platform. To make it a little bit easier, let's do that. Uh, this is gonna be like inside the wall a little bit, which yeah, we're gonna be building another floor as well. It's gonna be the same color. And so I think it just makes sense to just make it be the same part, just to save on parts a little bit here. Okay, I changed my mind about the floor um it's gonna actually be a different color with this if it's this color um from a distance like without the effects you can tell it's two different floors and while you have the contrast effect you can tell a slight differences here but not really i mean you kind of can through this elevator i'm not really sure why it's doing that but whatever um you can see it's a little bit of a different color and so yeah also my sister is going to build the parkour from here over to this platform so uh, I'm gonna build it from off of this platform. All right, so we're gonna start here with some kill brick jumps, I guess. Let's do like a bunch of kill brick jumps, like one after another with some heal spots. Actually, no, I've changed my mind again. Let's instead put a jump onto here. Uh, let me move that over a little bit though. Let's put a stick out wrap around right here, which we'll jump up to here using. Then let's put a half stud up here. Uh, there will be a roof above here, so we can do like head hitter jumps, I guess. So let's put this random temporary roof here for now. Let's also rotate these parts randomly and size them randomly as well. Honestly, three is actually fine, so I guess we can delete that now. From here, you'll jump to this platform, and then this will be where the next uh, text box thingy is gonna be. You know, one of, one of those. So let's type in the signs now. Okay, we typed that in, but before I read that, we did make a minor adjustment that's kind of important down here. If you remember here, Shark says, why do I feel like, or he said something like this, but we just kind of added more to it. Shark now says, why do I feel like I remember typing that? Did I build the sit at all? No, that's not, that's not possible. Is it? Hmm. All right, anyway, over here, Shark says, uh, well, we read it in this order. Maybe I should move these over a little bit. So the player says, does last time mean Citadel of Eternal Corruption? But I thought you were in charge of that, Shark. I guess I was, but I don't remember it. Was it truly me and who was in charge of that? Now that's all we're gonna put here. Um, and we're gonna end this floor off with a short outside section. So I guess we can go ahead and put the roof on here. 
Okay, so here's where you're gonna step outside. I think we're gonna make this a dance clip. We're not gonna put outlines on this since it's kind of part of the frame. All right, so there's a sign here that says dance clip and then it's pointing towards the thing. So you can't do the trick where you jump to like space yourself between the wall, but that's what you're supposed to do. And then you can jump out through this. Now there is gonna be the next floor here, so you won't be able to like jump on top of here. So you're first gonna jump down to this platform. All right, so after this, you're going to, I'm gonna do what I tried to do um, in the previous video, um, which probably I could just go go back and do that how I originally had it, but it's fine. But what it was, was you had to do something like this where you jumped underneath to get on top. Now that's obviously way too high of a jump power. Let's do like 100. And I think I'm gonna just do something like this. So you'll jump down. Yeah, perfect. Let's add a bit of an extra challenge here by making it so you have to do something like that. Then we'll put two kill bricks that you have to head hitter up and then that's where you'll enter the next floor from. Now, this is gonna be the first outside section that was, that's kind of the idea that it kind of inspired this whole Citadel. So when I built Tower of Superception on floor nine, which was actually the fifth one you go to, there's a part where you get teleported to a thing. Uh, honestly, it would probably, I, I should just load it so I can show you. Okay, so right here, there's this one section where it's like the things go down infinitely. It's an outside section. If you fall down, you kind of see how I did it. It's like an insta-kill. If we take a look from here, it's this giant box. I needed to put these here so the fog end works properly. And I was originally gonna have this like not be button activated, but it still looked really ugly. Like that's why I had it reflectance one, so it was harder to notice. But in the end, I just decided to button activate them and uh, I just left the reflectance like that. Now when I built the Christmas 2021 event, which is right here, I used the same effect. Um, just differently. So what happens is when you step in here, it activates this huge box around the edges of the obby plot. And so the, that way when the fog end is activated, like you can't see the sky. So like, cause it'll show the sky box if there's not like an actual part. The reason I decided to button activate it here was because I kind of mentioned this last video, which was playing requested obby seven. If an obby is just a giant box, it's not as, it doesn't attract as many people to come play it. Now on some outside sections, for instance, the one on Steeple of New York Adventures, uh, the one up here somewhere, I use this effect that I'm going for here. So like you can just see none of the platform, none of the platforms really extend down infinitely, but like, or it appears to do that anyway. Um, but like, that's kind of, like supposed to look like it's super far down and you definitely don't want to fall down there. Now in outside sections where I didn't have that effect, I just used a button to button deactivate the button that activated the platform or the, the parts around here. So I'm going to do that same effect on Citadel of Abstraction. Um, not all the outside sections, uh, honestly maybe all of them other than this one really because that's where it's going to have things like extending down infinitely so that's going to look cool. I don't think I'll do that here however you will still see the, uh, the side of the tower disappear into the fog which is going to look really cool. Now I'm not gonna do that right now cause I'm too lazy, but um, yeah, that was kind of the inspiration behind there. And you know, that's kind of an abstract concept. The platforms are just like floating there in the middle of nowhere. So that's like an abstract concept. So that's also where the name came from. Now that we've begun building this, that's not the only reason it's gonna be called that, but yeah. So just imagine there's a fog end effect here. Well, there is, but it doesn't really work right without those extra parts. So now that we're done with the parkour, it's time to play the whole obby start to finish. I say that wrong every time. The whole two floors we built today start to finish. Here's the obby if you wanna come play them. And let me put in a teleporter. Oh yeah, it's being annoying and tagging everything. I don't know why but this is supposed to say floor eight. Um, anyway, I'll make the advanced tools parts work right and I'll also put music. You know, I'll just put a random music part here. It'll reset it to the default obby creator background music because I don't think it make mu make much, makes much, because if you get up here from playing the previous three floors and it doesn't make sense to have intense epic music going on. So um, just step on this to reset it to the default obby creator background music. Anyway, the player says, I don't know if you're thinking the same thing I am, but what on earth just happened? That's of course in reference to the previous three floors where everything was glitching out and everything was flooding with lava. Shark responds, I have no idea. I don't think the Citadel was supposed to glitch like that. So now we do the parkour, you do that, and then that you kind of do this wrap around here and then uh yeah these also are th the thingies the different outline colors are the types of platforms they are so the red ones are kill bricks now this is a truss it's a little bit hard to see i guess i'll have to do something about that um and probably that too there uh, i changed the sizes of this a little bit which make it easier i guess 
Um, then you go across the tightrope, and then this is a conveyor. And then question mark, question mark, question mark says, I see you are just as skilled as you were last time. This will be fun. Shark says, lol, what? And then the player says, last time. What's that supposed to mean? Now here, you do that to get over here. Then you wall hop across here. You don't need to step on that middle platform. Uh, there's a button here you can't see at all. And it doesn't even do anything at the moment. But what it does is it activates stuff over here, which you'll climb up in order to get to this elevator. And now you're on the second floor we built in today's video. Uh, I ha actually haven't played this yet, because my sister built this section. But I guess here you ladder flick, and then you go across this. Now this is a 12 stud jump. There we go. Uh, you might have noticed this was half a stud. You probably didn't notice that. But if you did, I changed it because it was impossible. Or it probably wasn't. I'm probably just bad at the game. Anyway, then we're at this section. You do those kill break jumps. That, that didn't damage me because I'm in... Because I have Invincible while editing turned on at the moment. Oh, well, actually, I had the effects slightly wrong here. Uh, it actually looks like this. I had it at daytime because it's already nighttime from the previous floor's effects. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, so that's a problem that... You can't tell a difference in the color at all. You kind of can if you do that, but I'll fix these things off camera because I don't feel like it right now. I think I'll add like lights or maybe make it so it switches the time of day to uh, daytime rather than nighttime so you can actually see it, right? Anyway, the player says, does last time mean Citadel of Eternal Corruption? But I thought you were in charge of that shark. Shark says, I guess I was, but I don't remember it. Was it truly me who was in charge of that? Uh, now here, we definitely need something. Okay, I put a platform with a light effect, so you can see a little bit better. Uh, the platform is can collide false. But now you have this dance clip. There we go. And then you jump out this. Imagine the fog effect is working right. But you jump to this, and then up here, and then you do these, and then boom. That's the end of the floor. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks so much for watching it. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing down below. I'd love to hit 2,000 subscribers soon. Here's the Abby ID once again if you want to come play this. Let me know if you have any floor suggestions, storyline predictions, or what you think of these two floors we built today in the comments down below. So, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day. Bye.